Hi, I'm Terry Lynn Carrington, and here today to talk a little bit about Afro-Cuban rhythms, um, basically stemming from the cascara bell pattern uh, in, that I would play in the right hand, and the clave that um, I would play in the left hand. Some people play the clave in the left foot. Um, I'm not one of those people, but uh, that's another way to do it. Um, the song clave... Uh, and the rumba clave are slightly different. Um, the last stroke of the clave, if you're uh, playing that would be song clave, but rumba, the last stroke is an eighth note later. And when you hear that in combination with the cascara bell pattern, which is Um, then it starts to sound interesting, right? And I would like to play my kick drum on the end of two and the end of four, where some people uh, play a busier kick drum, two strokes uh, per bar opposed to one, which is... But um, I like more space, so I play... Um, a lot of people do that in jazz because it gives a little more space, a little more air. Um, so after learning how to do that, I started trying to ask myself, how can I free up my left hand? And the first thing I thought about was playing the linear strokes in between the bell pattern. And then I thought about playing the accents of the bell pattern, which are... So when I combine that with um, the clave, um, an exercise I make sure that my students can do is uh, go between those. Um, and that starts to develop more independence and in not being so married to um, an ostinato in your left hand. Uh, the other thing that I like to uh, do is play an odd time signature. So if I were to um, play this in seven, I might play a combination of what would be considered two, three clave and three, two clave, which means starting um, in different places of the, of the clave. So starting with... So in seven, it would be going back and forth between those two. Something like that. Um, but when in seven, I, I kind of like to just have the freedom to go between whatever I feel like and not be uh, regimented to alternating. So... Also, I like to play in 5-4, and uh, that extends the clave by a beat, so that would sound like... And um, 
There's a couple of recordings that are great references uh, for that. One is um, Danilo Perez's Think of One. And most of the pattern on that was I did a recording of uh, Max Roach's, or actually Duke Ellington's tribute to Max Roach, called A Little Max um, from Duke Ellington's record Money Jungle. And I put it in 5-4, but I didn't stay as married to the pattern, to the clave pattern. Things like that. So uh, that's fun for me to uh, play around with it uh, in a personal way that um, I like to joke and say that the Cuban or the clave police might arrest me, but that's okay. Um, I have a lot of love and respect for the tradition and um, also, you know, feel uh, the freedom to uh, mix it in jazz uh, the way so many people do. Uh, that makes it personal to each of us.